so many other competitors try to mirror that, it created the current situation that we are currently living in with high pollution, high sodium, high fat based foods that are not healthy for people. And we turn this argument against them because it is in fact exploitative against poor people. So we were on the proposition and our overall strategy was to show over the long term McDonald's caused more harm than good regardless of whatever short-term benefits or changes they decided to make. Given that there hasn't been a lot of changes to the packaging, plastic, styrofoam in the last 60 years or however long it's been in existence, we decided to weigh those heavily and say over the long term, they've definitely done more harm than good. It's often the less affluent that end up spending a large portion of their money on fast food. McDonald's is clearly doing outreach to feed millions of people daily, regardless of impacts regretting McDonald's demonizes the poor who rely on the industry. So our team was con and we argued that McDonald's does more good than harm. Um, the most important points of our case were access, the fact that poor people have access to food via McDonald's because it's so inexpensive and even though it's not the healthier option, it's something that allows them to live. It's definitely a point of privilege to say that McDonald's is bad because we can afford the healthier option. In this debate, the decision was a 2-1 for the pro, mostly because although the neg started to prove that they were getting better or that McDonald's was improving, ultimately they still do a lot of harm. But it was a split decision and so we kind of had some fun disagreements about how McDonald's is.